Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So at long last, I'm going to talk today about my purchases from this year's Les Beige release, or certainly the spring Les Beige release. Uh, I've taken my time because I've actually found it quite difficult to buy all the products that I ended up wanting to buy. Uh, the distribution seems to have been a bit wild this time. I was actually at a Chanel standalone makeup boutique the day these um, hit London and uh, I tested everything. They had everything to test, decided what I wanted to buy, only to find that quite a lot of the items, particularly the uh, Le Beige Tinted Moisturiser and uh, the palette that I wanted, and in fact I think the um, blush that I wanted, they didn't have. Uh, those shades just hadn't been um, delivered. And I went to another boutique the next day and they had um, a different kind of delivery. So it took me quite a long time to actually <laughs> round up the things I wanted. Uh, and the tinted moisturiser was particularly um, difficult to get my hands on, to be honest. Uh, and then when I got it, about um, a week and a half ago. I did want to try it out a few times before talking about it. So, um, without further ado, uh, it's quite a big Le Beige release. I think there are um, three of the eye palettes of which I bought two. I'm kind of forgetting actually whether there are two or three. This is deep. I think there is a medium, this is light. Uh, which is the one that I bought first of all. So let's talk about that um, first and foremost. I was not particularly thinking that I was going to get one of these palettes because they looked a bit kind of ordinary to me. Um, and even when I swatched them, although I could see that um, on kind of hand swatches, they were a nice consistency, I wasn't quite sure. And I was actually going to go for the deep one which is the one here um, although they didn't have it so I ended up going for this light one and I really really like this I've worn it a lot um, let's just quickly see if I can swatch these colours um, they're definitely looking a bit uh, washed out in quite bright daylight um, here in London um, they're all satins, so if you're a lover of matte, you're not going to love them. And I'd say they were in a kind of heathery range. This is the fair or light um, palette. But what I will say is um, I found them to be really, really flattering on the eyes, uh, particularly this kind of combination of um, the pink and the mauve, um, although this is a really nice kind of golden -y taupe as well. Um, which looks nice just on its own. They blend really, really beautifully. And although they're looking quite faint and not brilliantly pigmented there, actually on the eyes, they look quite pigmented, certainly pigmented enough, um, and they last really well. So I've actually found myself um, reaching for this palette quite a lot, and I don't regret buying it. Um, there's also a super big kind of highlighty colour. Um, I'm not sure it justifies being so much bigger than the others, uh, but you can use it to kind of brighten the whole eye area, uh, or I like to use in the uh, inner corners of the eye to brighten up. So uh, I have found myself reaching for that, as I say. Now, the one I actually liked the look of, uh, not when I saw it, but when I tested it, uh, although they turned out not to have it, was actually this deep one. And the reason I didn't like the look of it when I saw it kind of on the stand were these two very glittery colours, which while I thought, well, they might look, look nice in the summer, they kind of put me in mind of the um, Tom Ford glitter colours. And uh, I really wasn't sure I was going to get a lot of use. Um, and as it turned out, they didn't have it for me to buy when I swatched it and decided that actually... I quite liked the look. Now you can see this is quite densely pigmented, but this brown, I don't tend to like um, dark browns. It's not absolutely matte, but it's about as near as you get. There is a bit of powder kicking up there. Um, but I hope you can see actually how well that blends. Um, this colour is a really nice workaday colour and 
in general, I think that's what these palettes are. You can see there is a lot of micro shimmer um, on these. This one in particular, um, I get a lot of fallout if I wear, so I have to be a bit careful with it. And I mean, you can see in the palette, it's a lot of, of glitter there. Um, but let's just do the, not really a highlighter there, but a real kind of neutral to um, blank out the eye as a nice kind of canvas. I think it's a really pretty selection for, um, for the summer. Um, so I ended up actually getting that from a different store. Then um, I wasn't going to get one of the, uh, what are they? Are they cream roll up? They're just called blush, um, Le Beige Blush. Um, but they're basically a kind of hybrid cream powder. Uh, again, the colour I was going to go for was going to be a kind of tangerine -y, um coral colour simply because I didn't have a cream br blush in that shade. Uh, needless to say, they didn't have it. Uh, and I ended up, in the end, going for this very pigmented, pretty kind of cherry pink. Um, actually, although it looks quite alarming there, Again, it's very easy to blend out, just to give a very kind of sunburned flush, really. And I just thought this was kind of a useful uh, formula to have in handbag or bag to take with you um, on the go, rather than, you know, being part of initial makeup. I mean, there's loads of product here. It's going to last for ages, probably going to dry up before I use it all up. I wouldn't say, you know, rush out and buy that, although I have used mine a fair bit so far. Um, then the powders, um, I went in the end for medium, not to use it as a powder, but to use it as, just so you can see what it looks like, it's got the little brush inside. Um, you've seen these before. I went for this one, uh, which is showing very light on the monitor. It's much darker and warmer than that in real life. And for me, it works um, very much as, uh, you can hardly see it there, but as a um, kind of contour. Let me just spoil the pattern there. Um, there you go. I have used it a couple of times. Uh, but it's kicking up more now. I do love these powders. So I have several of the kind of lighter shades in different releases to wear as face powders. So I just thought it made sense to buy one which was a bit darker um, that I could uh, use more as a, um, if not a bronzer, a bit of contour. Um, I suppose you could kind of work with the individual stripes and use on the eyes. I haven't tried that yet, um, so I can't say whether that would work or not. Uh, it's definitely working with a MAC product that's not intended to be used that way that I bought the other day that I'll be showing you um, hopefully soon. So then the really sticky customer to get my hands on was the new Sheer Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturiser. Um, comes in the dinky uh, little packet. Um, not a whole load of product, 30 mil. And I will say having used it now probably four times, I find myself using quite a lot of it. It's not one of those products where I would say a little goes a long way. That's not what I've read other people using, so maybe it's just me. Um, the other thing uh, I found was the shadings were quite uh, confusing. This is, I believe, medium. Actually, it's medium light. I would normally go for their lighter shade, but uh, it made me look very washed out. And this definitely um, blended into my skin tone. Um, the next thing I would say is I like it. Um, it gives quite a sheeny, um, glowy coverage. And um, perhaps that's, I'm just trying to squeeze a little bit out to show you if I can. Um, it's not terribly easy to get any out of the bottle. Um, here we go with uh, quite a big blob. Um, this is on the kind of pale bit of my arm. You can see it there moving in. I don't know if you can see. I think you can possibly see. It does give 
a slightly um, moist, glowy look. Definitely not matte. Um, a very pretty finish. Uh, so I do like it. I would say I prefer the CC cream um, simply because although it goes on nicely and I, I, I do feel I need quite a lot of it, it doesn't give anything like a medium or full coverage. It's a very light coverage, so it's not covering up any blemishes. It's only just slightly evening out of your evening out your tone, and even that, you are going to see um, freckles and blemishes underneath. But that's fine um, for a tinted moisturiser. It does give um, a nice finish, as I say, a bit of a glow. I wouldn't say it's drying, but my skin definitely feels less. Um, comfortable just with this. I definitely need to wear a moisturiser as well, um, which given it's meant to be a tinted moisturiser is a little disappointing. You know, I wear a sunscreen anyway. Um, so if you're wearing a sunscreen uh, moisturiser and a tinted moisturiser, it seems to me you might as well wear a foundation. Now the Chanel CC cream I definitely find um, is more moisturising than this and I marginally prefer the finish as well. It just looks a bit more glowy on me than this. But this is nice. I, you know, will use it and I do like it. And a lot of people are raving about it. So, um, you know, definitely worth trying. I am really surprised that people say you only need a tiny bit because I reckon I will go through this pretty quickly and usually... You know, I with quality moisturisers and quality primers and quality foundations, I do generally find that, you know, a tiny splotch goes a long, long way. This not so much. The other thing people have asked on Instagram, and you should know that like all um, Chanel products, it's very highly fragranced. I happen to like the fragrance and it doesn't irritate me. But if you don't like fragrance or you don't like the Chanel fragrance, this is not for you it's fragranced um, but it's certainly not irritating to the skin uh, it's um, perfectly comfortable um, and a nice product so was it worth the wait yeah I wanted to try it and I'll definitely use it up um, but as I say I actually prefer the uh, old CC cream I mean by that the um, SPF 30 not the 50 um, which I find clogs up the pores a bit. So those are my purchases from the Le Beige. There are lipsticks as well, some other products. It's quite a big um, range this time. Um, I've seen the Cruise collection seems to have hit the, the stores in, I was going to say hit the fan, I hope not, um, hit the stores in the US. No sign of it over here as yet. It looks really, really nice. I definitely want that palette. Um, what we have got on the website over here is a, another kind of summer collection. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to buy into that. I'll have another look at it. Um, but it seems a bit similar to a few other things I've already got, to be honest. But I really hope we get the cruise collection because I like the look of that one. So um, I've got some Mac to show you, all sorts of things um, in the next few days. Uh, keep watching. Until next time. Bye for now.